Hey, Kira, thanks for joining us. Uh, we will begin with Alvaro Torres. Hi, Guru. I hope you're having a great day. Well, uh, my question is, Florida State averages al almost three sacks per game and has made more sacks and tackles for loss than any team that you have faced outside uh, Virginia Tech. How are you preparing to face such a strong front seven? Um, right now, we're looking at the game, watching film. We're going over stuff at practice. We're trying to learn. Um, probably pick up on our little weaknesses that we have and then just get better fundamentally that we are good at. So just improve where we need to improve and then just get better at that we are good at. All right, Ross Martin. Hey Q, you mentioned those weaknesses and obviously five sacks last week and I think something like 20 plus for the season. And obviously in the run game, maybe not exactly where you want it, what things do you need to improve on? What are kind of the issues you think that um, is kind of limiting the offensive line in the run game in the past game so far? Um, I don't think it's more so limiting us. I think the only thing that's limiting us is ourselves. Like, let's say something bad goes happens. We just overstress it, overthink it, and we just got to be able to move on to the next play. I really don't think there's any weakness that we got to fix right now. It's just like all mental stuff that is more so as a players that we got to do for ourselves. What What are some of those mental things you think that are that y'all need to work on? Like, what, what's the issue? Um, probably just trying to shake off a bad play. Don't let it affect the next drive. So just don't get down on yourself. That's probably the biggest issue. Okay, cool. Thanks, man. Andrew Jones, go ahead. When you entered the game the other day, I think it was the 20th offensive play, and you were the third center, but it looked like there was a little bit more stability with the line. And even Max said you guys were a little bit different once you came in. What did you bring Saturday that was needed and that you were able to sustain uh, for most of the rest of the game uh, in, in the game against Duke Saturday? I feel like the biggest thing I brought Saturday, just have fun. I think sometimes like rivalries like that, big games, like you're playing good teams, you're just overthinking and you need to start, just remember to have fun. So like, I came in, I was playing jokes with the guys. I was telling them what we need to do, like do your job, but you gotta have fun at the end of the game. Like this is still a game. Is seeing success pretty quickly? Cause when you came in, you guys kind of moved the ball for a while. Is that a lot easier to have fun when you're having that kind of success? And do you do you did you get the impression that maybe when you came out there, it kind of connected to everybody else, and everybody else was having that fun as well? Yeah, we always have fun. It don't matter if I'm in. It don't matter if Caden Baker's in. It don't matter if Brian's in. At the end of the day, we're gonna have fun and we're gonna do our jobs. So when you start dominating, it just starts to have even more fun. Cool. Thank you, Greg Barnes. Go ahead. Thank you. I wanted to go back to, to Ross's question that he asked you a minute ago um, about some of the, the issues that the offensive line is kind of dealing with. With Considering that the bulk of the offensive line has been together for three years and has, has had a lot of success over the last three years, is it, is it a matter of there being maybe some pressure to perform uh, that you guys kind of sense and that that's providing some stress? It just seems like there's there's more struggles right now than there have been in the past, even though the, the unit has been made up of the same amount of guys. Um, I don't really think so. Like, there's not more stress. It's like we don't we don't got new schemes. It's just at the end of the day, we just need to do our jobs. Yes, we have a couple of mistakes here and there, but at the end, if we get the W, that's all that really matters. Thank you. All right, uh, Q, that was the last one we had for you today. Thanks for a couple of minutes. All right, thank you.